hey guys i hope you're doing well so today's message here's the message that i want to bring to you today so far the lord has been with us the lord has helped us and the lord will continue to help us amen so this story is found in first samuel chapter 7 i absolutely love it it has encouraged me so much because you know Sometimes the truth is uh, you cannot really explain the blessings that you have in your life or you cannot explain things, right, that have happened to you. And it is it can only be accredited to God, right? And all you can say is the Lord has helped us. The Lord has, um, you know, carried us in this difficult season. The Lord has shown himself faithful when I was sick. The Lord has shown himself faithful when I was praying for a child and he gave me a child. The Lord has shown himself faithful when this person was bound in a addiction and today they have been set free you know you can only say the lord has helped us the lord has been faithful and today i want to encourage you because some of you may be going through difficult situations right and you're wondering like how will i get out of this how will i get out of this fight and in the bible in first samuel chapter 7 it talks about another group of people right the israelites who were also fighting and who were also wondering like how are we going to get out of this and what they did is that they went to Samuel who was their leader and they said Samuel you go pray you know you're a man of God you go pray go pray for us so that the Lord would hear our prayers so that God would deliver us and it says first Samuel chapter 7 verse 8 it says they said to Samuel do not stop crying out to the Lord our God for us that he may rescue us from the hand of the philistines so again you might not be fighting the philistines but whatever your philistines is you know whatever it is that you're fighting and if if maybe you're not specifically fighting something maybe your friend is fighting something maybe a family member maybe a parent maybe a loved one you know maybe you are fighting an addiction and i just want to tell you like that the secret to winning your fight is to never stop crying out to the Lord your God. Amen? Do not stop crying out to the Lord, right? And um, it says in verse 9, I love this, that Samuel cried out to the Lord on Israel's behalf, and the Lord answered him. You guys, the enemy, here's what he will use. He will use a technique to discourage you so that you do not cry out to the Lord so that you do not get your breakthrough. You understand? Like that's what the enemy will do. He will trick you into believing that uh, God doesn't hear, God doesn't answer. Uh, you know, what would that have happened anyway to you if, if God is a good God? You know what I mean? Like he will put you uh, in this mindset where you will lack belief and without belief without faith it is impossible to please the lord so i want to encourage you today to strengthen yourself up to have faith to continue to fight and to never stop crying out to god amen so it continues and it says that the lord fought this fight for them he actually confused the enemies uh, the philistines and it says in verse 12 that when they won the victory uh, Samuel took a stone and set it up between Mizpah and Shen, and he named it Ebenezer, saying, Thus far, the Lord has helped us. And today I want to remind you that thus far, the Lord has helped you. He has helped me. So whatever it is that we're fighting, let us remember that thus far the Lord has helped us and will continue to help us. Because if we're here today, if you're breathing, if you're watching this message, it means that thus far the Lord has kept you. He has helped you, right? And he will continue to do so. Just do not give up. Do not stop crying out to the Lord your God. Amen. He will answer you. So Father God, I thank you, Jesus, that we can come boldly to the throne of God and pray and ask you that you would hear our prayers, God. We thank you, Jesus, because you are the God who answers. So, Father, we pray right now, God, for anyone who feels discouraged. I bind discouragement in the name of Jesus. I release your peace, uh, your, your perseverance over the situation that they're fighting, God. In your mighty name, Jesus, I pray. Amen, amen.